It's a known fact that when you use lower DPI, the input lag on your mouse is a lot higher than using higher DPIs. And then I was watching another video that explained when you turn up your DPI and turn down the window sensitivity inside the slider, you can get a lot higher pulling rates when you're moving your mouse simply because the Windows is getting a lot of more information. Once I saw this video, I thought maybe I can bring this to the max. The mouse I use is a Death Adder V3 Pro. I set this all the way up to 30,000 DPI. And to get my sense multiplier, I use raw Excel. If you just take your first DPI and then divide it by your second DPI, you'll get the same, you know, multiplier. It feels exactly like my normal DPI setting. Now, whenever I move my mouse in cursor, 8,000 Hertz immediately, just a little bit, you know, that's how like insane it is. I'm gonna be showing some fixes, some overall like things you need to do. I don't have like a super strong system and the games I play are not, you know, intensive. The first thing you need to do is make sure you have NVIDIA low latency on or the AMD's anti-lag. This just makes it so that when your computer is at like peak performance, you know, when it's like peaking out at like 95%, you don't get extra input lag. Since I have an AMD system, there's two settings that I changed that were really important. One was the ultra low power saving mode. It's in the MSI Afterburner. You have to like go into the settings and then you have to restart your PC. This just makes it so that on your GPU, it won't just go randomly down a clock to like 500. I found out this was a problem for me for a while. And then on my CPU, you need to disable C cores. I used a program called Home Control for mine. Uh, I did a video on this, you know, a while back. You can use it. You disable C states, you restart your PC. And then another thing with the AMD driver is if you switch up services, there's a driver called AMD Events Driver Utility. You just want to stop it. It starts automatically for some reason. And I noticed that whenever I stopped this, my frames didn't fluctuate as much in CSGO. Other than that, making sure your PC is like well optimized. My specs are the Ryzen 5 5600 and then the RX 6600. So it's kind of like mid tier, at like at its best. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, Windows 10 version. I've done optimizations on other games. When it comes to actual performance, I wouldn't say that, you know, the performance was better, but I just felt like it was more consistent, so to say. Uh, even just moving around the mouse, like inside aim labs, I felt like each time it felt smoother. I think this is just because whenever you're using like a high, you know, pulling rate with that much DPI, it pushes your CPU up to like actually like use your CPU usage. So in games, especially on the Ryzen platform, you find that like your percentage, your CPU usage percentage is always low, but like sometimes I would load up Valorant with this and I'm getting like 1000 FPS and I, like, I usually never hit that. Like it'll never push my CPU farther enough. I'm not saying it's like boosting your frames. I think over time, you know, it actually have like more damage onto your CPU, like more heat, all that stuff. Anyways, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, consider subscribing if you are new to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Cause I'm feeling like I'm running and I'm feeling like I gotta get away, get away, get away Better know that I don't and I won't ever stop Cause you know I gotta win every day, day Go. See the really, really wanna pop me Go. Just know that you will never pop me Go. And I know that I gotta be a little cocky Go.